We all know that when a liquid is heated, it changes into gaseous form. But what will happen if I continue providing heat to a gas? Will the water disappear? Ha! Huh, probably. Will the container burst? No, no, no. Let's go and find out. The sun is the most important source of energy for the life on earth. It comprises of gases like hydrogen, helium and plasma. Wait, wait, wait. What is this plasma? I think I had heard this word before. Let's go and find out in our memory lane where our physics teacher was teaching us about this chapter. In the sun's core, gravitational force creates tremendous pressure and temperature. The temperature is around 27 million degrees Celsius. Hydrogen atoms compressed and fused together creating helium gases. But as the gases heat up, atoms break apart into charged particles creating the gas into plasma. Yes, plasma is also known as the fourth state of matter. This is an ionized gas which is a mixture of electrons, protons, neutral molecules, positively and negatively charged ions which will move chaotically. It will remain in state of plasma as long as sufficient energy is provided to it in that state. Plasma is the first state of matter in the whole universe. Our universe comprises of 99.9% .9 of plasma. The stars, the nebulas, the auras all are made up of plasma. So we can say that plasma is the most powerful substance in the universe. Some of the most accessible example of plasma which are found in our daily life is display TV, plasma cutters used in mechanical factories and plasma antenna which is still under development. Did you know Tony Stark who has created the first arc reactor didn't fool you with his mini type fictional character Iron Man arc reactor which is present on his chest. This small arc reactor can produce large and large amount of energy. This energy converts directly into electrical helping Iron Man to fly up in the air and blast powers so that he can save the world. So we came up to know that when gas molecules are heated at high temperature, plasma is created. We are just scratching on the possibilities in this field of plasma. Who knows what amazing discoveries does the future hold?